the Washington State Democratic Party has not only taken the side of a bona fide socialist uh, over a Democrat in a race for state legislature, but they are actively sending out volunteers to lie to voters <laughs> about the Democrat in the race. This segment is brought to you by Eastside Weight Loss Clinic. I'm down 37 pounds on the program and I lost most of that in just two months. Do what I did and what so many other undivided viewers have done. Schedule your free 15 minute consultation today at eastsideweightlossclinic.com. So you know by now we're watching a couple races of interest uh, for state legislature. One of them is in the 43rd legislative district. Uh, so this is for state representative and it is the district smack dab in the heart of downtown Seattle. So our friend, admittedly, look, I have a bias. Andrea Suarez, the founder of We Heart Seattle, uh, is running in this race uh, to represent the area where she spent the last few years picking up trash and homeless encampments and actually out there connecting people who are drug addicted to services. And then you've got Sean Scott, who is a socialist, a democratic socialist, member of that movement, uh, someone who is very, very far to the left, as we have said on the show before, you know, he was in favor of police abolition. He celebrated, you know, cop cars being lit on fire in 2020, basically saying, oh, things were getting done much quicker in the city when cop cars were on fire. He recently came out during this campaign and supported the pro Hamas terrorism that was happening on our highways, blocking people from getting where they need to go, blocking access to the Tacoma, Seattle Tacoma International Airport. So very, very fringe leftist except we know that the Washington State Democratic Party, I don't know if it's because she's too effective, because Andrew is running as a Democrat. And I don't know if it's because she has pointed out and called out the homeless industrial complex for what it is, uh, and has shown that she, with far less money and far fewer hands, can do far more than the government machine that is essentially f uh, funding the cronies of the Democratic Party and they are never going to fix homelessness because that's how all those people keep jobs and keep the money coming in. I think that's what it is because they've turned on her from the very beginning, basically said she's not a Democrat, she's a Republican. So we're going to side with an actual socialist over a Democrat. And um, just today, Andrea Suarez had put out a video where she was talking to a voter who is telling her what volunteers and, and, and people within the Democratic Party said to her as a voter about Andrea Suarez. Here's the clip. I did talk to people working in the Democratic Party who told me not to vote for Suarez because she was a Republican. They're literally going out talking to voters, the Democratic Party, saying that the only Democrat in the race is a Republican. And they're throwing their support and their resources actively behind a socialist police abolitionist. That's not hyperbole again. He's written articles on this. This is June 2020. The time to abolish Seattle police was yesterday. <laughs> Literally wants to get rid of the police and he wants to represent the area of the state <laughs> most in need of police. And that is the person the state Democratic Party has not only chose to actively support, but actively lie about his opponent, who's a bona fide, who's been a Democratic, uh, uh, um, what do you call them? The uh, individual committees where you've got, what do you, why, why can't I think of the word? Precinct committee officer for the Democratic Party. And they're like, no, you're not a Democrat. And they'll point to like, oh, she's friends with us. Oh, she's friends with Jonathan Cho. You know, she's gone to Republican events because she doesn't care what group or crowd she talks to. If they want to actually solve homelessness and substance abuse, she'll work with anyone. And that's exactly what we need in Olympia. She should have run as an independent because she was never going to get help from the Democratic Party because, again, she's challenging their machine. She's pointing out that what they're doing is for money, not for results. So they're so mad about that and their cronies and their allies were enriching themselves off that. They said, well, let's support the police abolitionist. Sean Scott, I can't even tell you how crazy that would be if the, 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 the legislative district in the state most in need of law and order that would least benefit from a socialist, from socialist representation in the state house sends Sean Scott to Olympia. God, give me a break. But that's the, that's the Democrat, today's Democratic Party in Washington. And I was just having, a, I'm not going to out him, but I was having a conversation with one of my dear, dear friends uh, who used to live here, is living on the East Coast now on the way here. And, you know, we disagree over the presidential race, which is totally fine. But I was sort of pointing out that, like, unless you've lived with the consequences of a Democratic Party that is this far left, that does the things and supports the things and supports the people that our state's Democratic Party has, like, I can understand how people elsewhere in the country would be Democrats. 
Like my mom thinks she's a Democrat. You pluck my mother up from Minnesota, you drop her in Seattle, make her live here for 10 years, it'd take her t two months to be a Republican. And, and so it's just this sliding scale. And I think what we want to protect the rest of the country from is a Democratic Party, like a Kamala Harris, who's, you know, all she is is a far left California progressive. And now she wants to export, she's acting like a moderate because that's what suits her now, but she wants to export the progressivism of California, Oregon, and Washington state to the rest of the country. I don't want people suffering like we've suffered, but the Democratic Party here supports socialists. So they can't act like they're the party of moderacy. Wild, wild stuff. That is a race that we will be watching very closely tonight.